Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. No need for an intro today because we are getting right into it. This is what I'm starting with. I think this is day six hair and we're going to be reviving it today. As you can see the back of my head definitely needs some TLC so I'm going in with a pore bristle brush and some rosemary oil for hair growth. The boar bristle brush is a perfect shape to get along my part line. I'm going to go in sections throughout the front of my head and I'm also going to do the back of my head but in sparser sections because it's hard to get back there and I just end up being really lazy. After I scrub each section of my scalp I do go in with the rosemary oil and gently rub it in. Um, I'm testing this out. It's a new addition to my routine. I've been seeing it everywhere on the internet about people saying it helps with hair growth and my hair is kind of thin even though it looks like there's a lot there it's actually very fine and very thin um, you would see it better if it was straight but just know that it is fine and thin so I'm hoping by implementing this into my routine it could um, spark some hair growth. I am going to continue to take decent sized sections throughout the front of my head. As you can see here, I do have a very dry scalp, so by adding this step into my routine, it drastically lowers the amount of dandruff that I'm seeing throughout the week, which in the end allows me to go an extra day or two without washing my hair, which is what every curly girl needs and wants. Um, I do take sections that are on the thicker side just because the smaller sections that you take, um, the longer this process ends up being, and even though it's an important step, I don't feel like spending 15 minutes doing it. This is how I get the back of my head. I do horizontal sections going down the back of my scalp. Um, I do take huge sections here just because I don't have as much dryness in the back of my head. It's really more focused at the top of my crown. So these horizontal sections just, you know, make me feel a little bit better about it being dandruff free. And then I'm gonna go in with my oil with uh, the dropper full, start the bottom and slowly drag my way up my scalp in about three to five sections, depending on the day. And then I'm gonna thoroughly massage my scalp using a lot of pressure on the pads of my fingertips and give myself a really nice scalp massage. The next step on my pre-wash routine is going to be a hair mask on the mids and ends of my hair. So to make the product that I have go a little bit farther, I'm going to dampen my hair with this misting spray bottle. As you can see, it's significantly reduced in size, and this is the mask that I'm going to be using. It's the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Mask, and I'm going to thoroughly coat the mids and ends of my hair, going in two sections this time, I believe, but however you want to do this is up to you. I use the praying hand method to disperse the product evenly. As you can see, I need a little bit more moisture so I spray it again and again praying hands method on the mids and ends of my hair my scalp area and the roots of my hair really don't need that much moisture so I am focusing it on the ends of my hair and I do bring it up a little bit into my bang area because that tends to get dry as well and then I'm gonna throw it in a bun and wait 30 minutes to an hour now that I'm back, I'm going to hop in the shower. Every other wash day, I do like to go in with Filled Up Fluster by Diva Curl. It really cleanses my scalp. And then I will wash twice with the Repair and Bond Cleanser and condition once with the Repair and Bond Conditioner. In the shower, I will detangle with the Felicia Leatherwood brush. And this is how my curls are looking, fresh out of the shower. They are nice and conditioned and thoroughly cleansed. Here I'm just attempting to perfect my middle part for the week. There we go, that's perfect. So to start, I'm using the Flex Factor Prep and Protect. You really gotta shake it first and use a couple of squirts. You're, I'm taking four sections here. You're gonna apply it evenly throughout the section with your hands and then I go in with my Denman brush and 
evenly disperse the product throughout that section. This product acts as a primer and keeps my style intact no matter what the week throws at me. Next, I'm going in with the Super Mousse by Diva Curl and I'm focusing that on my root area. This is because I want a light hold by my roots so that I can get as much volume as possible without any product weighing it down. Next up is the Supreme Hold Ultra like Gel by Diva Curl. It's pretty thick and I love it because it keeps the frizz away for as long as possible. Again, I am going in with the Praying Hands Method to evenly disperse the product. And here is the trick to my beautifully coiled curls, the Denman brush. What you're going to do is take a nice smooth section and as the brush is still by the roots of your hair, you're going to turn it and with the corner of the Denman brush, you're going to grab on to half of the section and then twist throughout the mids and ends of your hair. And you're going to continue to twist and at the end you're going to flick it downwards to get a nice perfect curl. Here you're going to be able to see it again, brush through, make sure it's smooth, twist, that corner is going to grab onto the bottom of the section, and then you're going to twist down the length of your hair. At the very end you're going to brush down and get that perfectly coiled curl. Now I am taking varying size sections. Um, for diffusing purposes, it's better to take smaller sections because your hair will dry faster but I mix it up, it really just depends on what I'm feeling. You are going to separate these coils afterwards, so don't worry if it looks kind of like a la la loopsy doll because you are going to separate these sections and get way more volume afterwards. I'm not gonna lie, this method does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of. It is especially hard to do it on yourself, but once you get it down pat, it is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you, okay? Because your curls are going to be looking absolutely gorgeous right up until your next wash day. Here is one side of my head done. As you can see, my curls are perfectly defined. There's no frizz and it's looking perfect now I just have to do the other side of my head and here it is all done this is how the whole head is looking perfectly coiled there are some pieces in the back that I did miss but honestly even if you miss a couple pieces you're gonna be perfectly fine next I'm going in with my diva curl diffuser I'm gonna start by hovering a little bit to form a small cast with the product that I use I am checking the time because I do have a client to do very soon, so this is going to be a very fast diffuse here. But I've been using Diva Curl for probably around five years now, ever since I started my curly hair journey, and I absolutely love their products. I never have to worry about them being like Curly Girl Method approved, like there's never going to be any silicones, no cellophates, no parabens. So I can rest easy knowing that my curls are getting the best product possible. And I would highly recommend their product line to any curly girl, especially if you're a beginner because it makes it so easy. Um, they don't have any weird names for their products, like it's gel, it's mousse. Some people like say these, <laughs> like have these weird names for normal products and it can be confusing, but this they do not here. Um, I'm showing you what time it is because it means I, I really gotta go. This is the client that I did, a little Valentine's Day set. Not that you came here for nails, but just thought I would show you. I'm back. I didn't um, break apart my coils because they weren't fully diffused, so here I am doing that now. They are fully dry, especially after that nail appointment. They air dried to complete dryness. I'm going in with the Diva Curl High Shine Oil to break apart my coils. As you can see, I broke the coil apart by my root, and then I twisted it in the same direction as um, it was coiled, so the same direction that I used my denim brush in. And as you can see, I just keep separating the same coil until I'm satisfied with the amount of volume there. I saw that the 
there was a strand that was a bit too thick. So I went in again and separated again, and that's how it looks. So this part um, is one of my favorites because you really get to see the whole hairstyle come to life. You get to see all the volume come together. A little trick that I like to do that you can see here is flip up my curls over the top of my head and work on the bottom coils because it just makes it a little bit easier instead of moving hair to the side. Just flipping it up and over your head allows me to get to the coils underneath. That's another thing that I don't think I mentioned while I was coiling my hair with the Demon brush is that you want to do layers. Doing some coils on the bottom, some in the middle of your head, and some on the top is really going to help you get a ton of volume once you pick out the coils. So definitely do that if you're doing this method. Layer your coils because it will help volume tremendously as you can see. Last step, I'm going to go in with the Diva Curl Flexible Hold Hairspray just to give everything a final cast, and this is the final look. I'm shaking out my roots to give a little bit of extra volume, and look at those perfectly coiled curls. They are fluffy, perfectly shaped, and are going to last you until your next wash day. Trust me. I'm totally feeling myself over here. That's, I mean... That's how you're going to feel after a fresh wash day, right? And this is a totally doable method that anyone can do at home if you have some curl to your hair. Um, you don't need all the products that I used. I would highly recommend the Demon brush for sure. Definitely a gel or some holding product and a good shampoo and conditioner. And you can achieve this at home, no problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, do any of those things. It'll tremendously help me out as I am a new channel. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.